I'm making this video now because uh, I wanted to show the world something. I, I was at uh, my Manhattan Mini Storage. Manhattan Mini Storage. Big company here in New York. They have storage all over the place. I was paying $200 a month to store my stuff. Uh, my stuff that was completely our, our stuff. My wife and I completely infested with Morgellons disease and other insects. They basically destroyed everything we own. What they didn't steal, they destroyed. So anyway, today we went over there finally for the last time and took, you know, like a third of what we could and we had to throw everything else out. And, you know, I'm moving and stuff and I'm really weak. I'm really sick. This thing is killing me. It's, it's fucking up my blood. It's, excuse me, uh, making me throw up and, uh, oh, excuse me. Anyway, uh, I got a bottle of Oh, excuse me, water from Manhattan Mini Storage. They gave it to me and had ice and it was cold. I was drinking. I was very thirsty, grateful. Anyway, I get home. I'm here. I'm throwing up uh, from, I thought, from all the effort, all the work. Uh, excuse me, all the work I did. Uh, usually, you know, because I'm so sick and this thing is killing me, usually I can't do much work. I start throwing up. Anyway, so I get home and I take a look at this this bottle of water. I want to show you. Let's see if I can do this. Uh, okay, here's the bottle of water. Manhattan Mini Storage. Now, what I want to show you is... Uh, there it is. On the bottom of this bottle. Let's see if we can see it properly. Uh... uh I know it's a fucked up video, but you will see what I'm talking about in a second. You see that white stuff right there? There you go. Let me focus it. Ah, you see that? That white shit on the bottom of this bottle? You see it all now, moving around? Floating in there? Yeah. Right there, all this white fucking crap. And I have no idea what that is. It doesn't really taste like anything. You know, it doesn't taste like salt or chemicals or... You know, but here it is. Fucking bottle of water I got from Manhattan Mini Storage. Fucking poison. Poison with all this shit in it. See it there? All that white stuff? How can you miss it? It's right fucking there. Right there, big cloud of white stuff right on the bottom, right there, see? You know? So, what, what, what in the world is Manhattan Mini Storage doing? What are they giving us? Poison water? More gallons of water? I, I don't know what I just drank. And the weird thing is here, I was in Manhattan Mini Storage when, when they were first doing this to us and they were dosing us and they locked Mitty, uh, Petra in the, in the mental ward for no reason and they ran me around for 11 days telling me they're going to kill me and blow me up and I would go to my storage locker because they had run me out of the hotel by electrocuting me through the floor and throwing bugs at me and, and all kinds of other shit and, and, and uh, uh, brain fog, I forgot mini storage uh, oh, right. And so I, I'm there in the mini storage locker, and, and, you know, I would hang out with my stuff in the locker all day because it was cold. I had nowhere else to go. And I noticed that right up above my head when I looked up, there was a router, uh, you know, like a regular Linksys router or whatever, attached to the ceiling. And I think it had a camera in it. It was right above my locker from, the, you know, uh, pointing down at me. And I, and I followed the wires. And the wires went all the way to the back to the phone room. They were connected to DSL or something. And so clearly somebody had come into Manhattan Mini Storage, set this thing up, hooked it up to whatever secret thing that they were, you know, because they were watching me 
they could see me on their phones, they had a whole network of you know, superstar technology, whatever. Um, yeah, I, I'm losing my mind, I can't really think straight anymore. But I wanted to show you guys the Manhattan Mini Storage water. Oh, the reason I'm saying this is because the people in Manhattan Mini Storage were involved. I, I, you know, they were saying, we're going to kill you, we're going to kill you. I went over, I said, why? What, what are you people hassling me for? And they went and told somebody, the guy came running downstairs, don't fuck with these people, Timothy, he says. And I'm thinking to myself, who the fuck is this guy and how does he know my name? Uh, you know, so these watchers, they get into anything. Mini storage is nothing for them. They, I've seen them go into buildings and come out three doors down. I mean, I've seen these people do things that are, are almost physically impossible for people to do. The other thing that we were talking about was, was all the stuff that disappeared. There were so many things that disappeared from our lives. And, you know, I understand they come in your house and they take shit, but there were literally things like, like this water bottle here. And I would put it down and she'd say, oh, the water bottle, my father gave it to me. You know, it was like a glass thing with it, this glass thing with it. Anyway, so I put it down. I turned my head. I turned my head back. And it's gone. And we look everywhere. We look all over the room. And this glass thing that it was a souvenir was blown glass. It was gone. Just floop. Disappeared just like that out of thin air. There were a few other things like that. Like she said she had a shirt. A brand new shirt. She had it. She dropped it. And went zoop under the desk. She looked everywhere. It was gone. There were so many objects like that. That just seemed to, to disappear in these weird ways that... It makes me really wonder if these people have not developed either teleportation or um, um, whatever it's called, like like in this dimension, third dimension, and there's all these other dimensions, and there's all these little holes in between the dimensions that's like a, another dimension. And I think that these people have figured out how to move between dimensions by changing the vibratory state of themselves or, or matter or an energetic thing around you or something. But that, that's my theory, that somehow they've learned how to bend time and space, you know, micro wormhole stuff or whatever. Because there were so many times where things would just disappear. Or, or there was one time when I, I, for whatever reason, I went over to these jackets and grabbed them. They were hanging on a, on a thing above the desk, and, and I felt this human heartbeat in my hands. Boom, 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 boom. And it was clearly scared. This heart was of somebody or something that was frightened that I had noticed it was there, even though there was nothing there but coats and hangers you could only see. And you could see, hear this, feel the heartbeat. I could feel it in my hands, this heartbeat. And no, it wasn't my heartbeat. I could hear it. And I took my knife. Oh, I had this knife. And I took my knife and I'm going, but the knife won't go through anything. It's just hitting this thing with the heartbeat. I don't fucking know. So you tell me. There were some other times where I'd be sitting there and all of a sudden, whack! I'd get whacked in my head as though somebody hit me with a piece of metal. And I would look everywhere and there's stars in my eyes. And I look and there's nobody in the room. The door is shut, you know. I can't figure it out. I know a particle beam weapon could make you feel like you got backed in the head, but but I really think that either they've enveloped, developed an invisible suit or, or they really they figured out how to move through wormholes, micro wormholes through space time. Time space. I don't know. You know, I, I, I go off a lot on this technology stuff, but but it's true. This is all true, a hundred percent true. Thank you all for listening. Uh, we just came back from the storage where everything we own is infested and we're moving it up and we're trying to fit it all in this little tiny room. You know, we had to throw away two-thirds of what we had left. And Anyway, I went over that. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm such a wreck. I, you know, I looked at my blood the other day and it really disturbed me and I get dizzy when I walk and I, my vision goes like tunnel vision like I've, I've been choking myself to death or something. So, anyway... Got this fucking Manhattan mini storage water with this fucking toxic shit in it. I don't know what that is. You know, so we'll see what happens, man. Uh, God bless you all. And, and uh, just be strong. This is a spiritual warfare. This is evil people, evil spirits, evil demons, whatever you want to call it. Aliens, who cares? It's evil. 
This must be stopped. We must stop this. We must stop it. We must change inside of ourselves and work together. When human beings work together rather than separate, we can 